All right, guys, this is the last video in the subsection for functions, and we're going to be talking about return values uh, from functions. So, uh, again, uh, this is not new to some of you. Uh, to some of you, it is. So, uh, if I mean, it's a pretty basic concept. Basically, in the past, we've created functions that do something, in which case, uh, each time the function was called, it printed something to the screen, because inside that function, that's what we've done. We've told it to print. But what if we want to return a value from the function and don't want to print it out and then do something else with it? So let's go ahead and define a function. Uh, let's call it do math. And define two variables, num1 and num2. It's going to be a very simple uh, function here. And we're going to return num1 plus num2. Now, if we call do math uh, and pass in 5 and 7 and save it, it's not going to do anything because we're not printing anything out, right? Uh, so what we could do is actually, let's create a variable called sum1, or rather math1. And this variable is going to include the sum of the two numbers that we pass in. So we're going to call it a second time as well. And pass, it, pass it in 11 and 34. So we're going to save it. Now, when I run this function, or when I run this script, again, nothing happened because we haven't done anything with it yet. So what we're going to do now is print out both results in one print statement. So we're going to say, uh, first sum is math1, and the second sum is math2. So if we save this and hit the, the run button, you'll see that the first sum is 12 and the second sum is 45. So let's go over this uh, again, uh, so you guys, uh, I'm not sure if I've explained it well enough, so I'm going to do that again. Uh, we're defining a function, we're calling it do math, and we're passing in number one and number two. So there's two arguments going into this function. Uh, inside this block of code, we are, we're only returning uh, the sum of num1 and num2. So in the case of the first uh, sum, it's uh, going to be 12. So we are returning to whatever part in our code we're at. So this is going to become 12. So math1 is equal to 12. And then math2, we're going to call that function again. We're going to pass 11 and 34 in. And again, it's going to return to this spot right here with the value that we tell it to return with. So this line of code right here is going to become 45. So math2 equals 45. Then what we do, we just print it out. Uh, and math1 knows that it's 45 uh, because that's what the result of that function is. And so this is going to be useful for a lot of reasons uh, later on in programming. So in the next video, we're going to create a calculator using Python, and it's going to be a command line tool. So we'll be able to run it and uh, perform different math operations.